What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy and check it out, man. I had a bunch of you guys requesting to see how I spend all of my boost points every single day because your boy has been getting really, really lucky. If you've been keeping up with my shenanigans on the YouTube community section, you'll know that Wanda has been blessing your boy basically on a daily basis via the boost point system. So I wanted to show you guys what I do with my boost points every single day in hopes of bringing you guys a little bit of luck if you have some boost points now this is not a promo for the boost point system even though i own it and personally if you've been following me for any length of time you'll know that i was very 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 skeptical of the boost point system and the boost point subscription it took me months to convince myself that this thing was worth buying if you want my opinion on it now that i've owned it and i purchased it three times and i will continue to purchase it it is definitely worth it if you are lucky if you believe right if you believe then it is definitely worth it because every time that i've bought this thing so far i've gotten one or more rewards from the boost point system that vastly outweigh the cost of the subscription if you've been keeping up with my posts on the community section i don't have to tell you guys what i got so that in itself to me justifies the cost of the subscription especially if you're at a place where you no longer need the subscription for the bio selector characters or the x gene selector characters if you're at that place you can definitely justify spending that money on the subscription because chances are if you believe you'll get pretty lucky anyways moving on boys let's actually jump into it i'm gonna tell you guys where i don't spend my boost points first and then i'm gonna show you guys where i spend my boost points and how i spend them okay so apart Apologies if this ends up being a very lengthy video. I'll try to make it as short as possible. So let's get it started, boys. First things first, I absolutely never, and I mean never, spend any of my boost points on story missions. And the reason for that is because they cost six boost points you don't want to ever spend your boost points on anything that costs more than four okay that also goes for the epic quest tracking missions because they also cost let me show you guys now they all cost six boost points so you want to stay away from these i'm not telling you not to do story missions or not to do these tracking missions you definitely want to do them because you want to get the bios even if you already have the characters at tier two right because you want to stack up for future uniforms or to get them to level 70 but you want to do that either before or after you collect your boost points and you do everything that you need to do with your boost points okay so never use your boost points on these another place i don't use my boost points is actually in the mention riff and the reason for that is because it doesn't give that much gold and that's one of the beautiful things about boost points you get a massive increase well not a massive but a sizable increase in gold and gold is the lifeblood of marvel future fight it is probably not probably most definitely the most important resource in marvel future fight most of you guys will say it's crystals i will disagree because you can survive in marvel future fight with low amounts of crystals you can't survive with low amounts of gold and i can attest to that so any game mode that doesn't give you a whole bunch of gold you should not be using your um, boost point there, okay? So let's actually jump into the task manager here. Now, these things that you see I already have completed, these are the first things that I do basically every single day so that I don't mess up and use any of my boost points on them because they don't give you that much gold. Like, don't worry about villain seeds. That's not gonna affect your boost points. I just got out of the way because I felt like it, but when it comes to the Veil Secrets, Magneto's Might, Rise of the Phoenix, don't use any of your boost points here because the gold drop is really low. Moving on, when it comes to Big Twin, Ending Strife, Cutting Cable, low amount of gold you definitely don't want to use any of your boost points there the same goes for a stupid x-men chrome plated warrior psylocke out you definitely don't want to use any of your boost points here the gold drop is really really low now i'm not trying to tell you that you can't get really good boost point rewards as a bonus drop from doing these missions i'm just trying to say that since the gold drop is really low if you end up not getting something really good as a bonus drop from your boost points then you essentially just 
wasted boost points in my opinion so that being said i'll take you guys through the grind and show y'all where i do spend all of my boost points now first up is actually the memory missions because these things actually give you a decent amount of gold i usually just pick one of these at random lately it's just been baron mortal because i'm still trying to find one of the collection items from his mission and if i was trying to get uniform xp or character xp i would run this thing on auto repeat but for the sake of this video we're just gonna hit auto clear and just get all of our rewards this way so we ended up getting a little bit of extra dimension debris that is it but that's fine then i'll usually just jump over here into this one right here new faces i've actually gotten lucky really really often running mean and green and inhuman princess so let's see if we can get lucky here i usually just auto clear these two just because i find that i get more gold this way but you can also run these things on auto if you need um character or uniform xp nice we got a collection item there that is good i'm actually probably gonna have to make some space because the next thing i usually clear is actually the doomsday mission and this one you definitely want to run on um auto repeat because there's a dimension shifter that pops in here so we're definitely gonna have to do that oops we gotta actually sell some of those isos give me a sec boys so like i told you guys this might end up being a pretty lengthy video let's actually sell because i don't need any more isos let's actually do that sell that sell all of these sell that sell that sell that sell that too okay so we got 14 new spaces there we go now some of these things you definitely want to make sure that you run on auto repeat because you don't want to miss out on the additional bios this is one of those missions let's see if we can get something good here all right let's kill this guy real quick we didn't get a shifter so that kind of sucks defeats the whole purpose of not using the clear ticket but sometimes you can get victorious bios okay we got our extra hidden ticket there that's good and we got 46 nice 46 000 gold and we got a five star custom gear let's see if we can get a shifter here if we don't get a shifter then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of not yep we didn't get a shifter sometimes you can get dual shifters so like the thing will pop in and victorious so you could get like two bios right but nothing Let's see if we get something good no boost point reward and that kind of sucks but it's okay let's actually jump over to the daily missions now when it comes to the daily missions i always go for the gold and xp chip and i always just clear this because when i clear it this way i find that i get more gold and i don't have to worry about actually i'm um, killing all the mobs nice okay we'll worry about that later next up is this thing right here mutual enemy i usually clear this next and this one has the chance to drop a shifter so i generally just run this i'm not trying to miss out on additional bios I won't keep you guys here for the full grind because I don't want to make this video super long. All right, we got an extra rogue bio there. So that's part of the reason why you want to make sure that you clear this. It should give me about 25,000 gold. There we go. It's pretty consistent. Let's run it one more time. And I'm pretty sure the shifters are guaranteed for this mission. Yep, it's guaranteed. Another rogue. You're not guaranteed to get just rogue, but you're guaranteed to get at least one shifter. That one bio might seem like nothing to you guys, but trust me, this is how I always end up having thousands of bios for characters. Nice four-star obelisk. Watch, today's going to be the day when I don't get anything really cool because I'm trying to show you guys. But hopefully, after watching this, you guys get something cool. All right, so next up is actually beginning of chaos let's see if we can get something cool from this this also gives you the shifter so you want to definitely run that cables over there hiding in the corner but luna snow clapped him luna snow is probably one of the best characters to run on um autoplay because her fifth skill just has such a large radius so she just kills everything super quickly Especially when you put her with two support types like Coulson 
and uh, white flux. Another Phantom X bio, add that to the collection. <laughs> Cable again got clapped. Can we get something good? All right, so no boost point reward there. Kind of suck, but it's okay. That's okay. Then want to jump into Twisted World. This is another one that you absolutely want to run because you want to get those premium victorious bios. You know what I'm saying? If she ever gets a uniform when she makes her debut in the comics, you definitely want to have those on hand so you don't have to pay for any. All right. You guys can just fast forward through this section of the video to see what I get. All right. Hello, Doom. We meet again. Goodbye. Anything good? Come on, bless me. Bless me with something good. All right, so no boost point rewards, but it's all good. Why did it show me like I've never seen a custom year before? Okay. Let me just get rid of some of this stuff. Hold up. Let's actually... Let's upgrade that. It was actually some pretty good stats. If it could stay the same all the way up to six star and land a 200 proc, that would be amazing. That's crap. Okay. Let's actually just use up all of these, make as much space as possible. So basically you want to run through everything that is here and leave special missions for last because the special missions actually give the least amount of gold believe it or not if anyone ever told you that you should use all of your boost points on special missions don't listen to them okay because although the special missions have a chance to drop the ctp of transcendence that has nothing to do with boost points right you can get that even when you're running without boost points and i have gotten some pretty cool rewards from running special missions so i'm not shitting on them i'm just saying they give less gold than all of these other missions that i'm doing before them so if you only had a hundred boost points to spend you should be spending them on the things that i'm showing you in this video and leave the special missions for last those missions you want to run with leftover boost points like the first thing you should probably do is like your daily just because that's going to give you what like almost a million gold 770 something thousand right that's a lot of freaking gold if only you could well you can technically do it multiple times per day but i'm not paying to refresh that come on clear give me something good besides just your bios like you guys may think this little three bios that i'm farming for by doing this thing manually well on autoplay instead of clearing it is nothing but this is how you end up with like almost 2000 clear bios without paying for any this is how you end up with the character at tier 2 and have basically an infinite supply of her bios for if she ever gets a uniform right so never never shit on running stuff manually just because there's an easier option because one day You'll need those bios. We all know that Marble loves to sell uniforms. And let's be honest, some of us love the uniform because we like to see different looks for our favorite characters. But still, man, we're getting no luck today with these boost points. Sad life. I just want to finish everything up and leave special mission for last. I won't keep you guys for the special mission portion because that's going to be super long and pointless. You guys already know what the special missions do. I usually get really lucky with these though. It's crazy. Most of my luck usually comes from the other stuff besides the special mission. So I was kind of backing on getting something really dope today to show you guys, you know, live instead of a stilt image. Oh yeah, I do have something that I want to show you guys.
Once again, I don't think we're gonna get anything from this besides us. A really good amount of gold like 25,000 gold is really really good so we got nothing from clear today unfortunately let's do twisted world and then we'll wrap this thing up i'm also still looking for that bloody doom bot for the collection man like seriously it's in this mission but i haven't seen it i think you only need to find it there we go that's the reason why we're running this thing manual baby not trying to pay for these when she eventually one day gets a uniform Cause I'm pretty sure she's gonna look different in the comics. I should check to see if the comic for her is actually out already. Might do that after this. It'd be really cool if I could find the Doom Bot while we're recording this today, boys. Cause that's literally the only thing I need. Like I have a lot, like about 85% of all the collections I have completed. And I'm just missing like one item. Really? I don't want no six gear up kits, man. Luck today has been trash. See, that had me thinking it was a Doom bot, but it's not a Doom bot, is it? Let me actually double check. Sorry, guys. Um, if it was a Doom bot, I think you would have told me that I uh, completed something. Let's see. Got two out of. Let's see. Oh, shit, boys! But it was a doom bot. Say a word. My first one. Wow. I, I thought you only needed one of five. So, damn. I thought you only needed one. I thought it was like one of one. And that was why it was so rare. But you actually need five of those. Jeez. Okay. That kind of crushed my soul. All this time I was banking on the fact that it was only one time that you needed to find it. Wow okay that kind of sucks <laughs> i'm kind of sad like i'm kind of happy and kind of sad at the same time you know what i'm saying because i'm like oh yeah we only need to find this one time because that's why it's so hard to find you know but now nah, you need to find it five times Jeez. okay let's see if we can find it another time today literally took over a month to find it the first time how long is it gonna take me to find it the other four times my goodness and it sucks that this is one of those missions that have limited entry not that I would waste a whole bunch of energy trying to find it if I wasn't gonna get bios and stuff all right so the entries are used let's actually jump over to here oh crap let's actually use, use up all of these I really gotta clear up my inventory man it's full of stuff my goodness this is the last one. Last thing we need to do for gold. We used up almost 100 boost points so far. Nothing. Usually I get really lucky with my first 100, but I guess Wanda took the day off to rest, you know? She's been working like triple overtime, putting in all them extra hours for your boy. Blessing me left and right, like with mega mythic tickets, you know, mega upgrade tickets. Mythic booty boxes, all them things, you know. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let her rest, man. Hopefully, her absence means that you guys are being blessed. You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't always have to come in the form of boost point rewards, okay? It can come from different avenues, like a booty box you pop open, and boom, you got a premium card or you know a CTP, or you pop open the CTP chest one time, and there you go. There's a beautiful reward smiling at you. That's one of letting you know that you were blessed on this day, okay? Just so you guys know what time it is. I'm telling y'all, man, don't believe in RNG, man. That guy is cold and unforgiving. But for real though, let's let's get something good today. Come on, Victorious. What you got for me? What you got for me? Anything good? 
Nothing? Jeez, that sucks. Okay. We got barely any shifters. We have one more entry. Really? How are we getting so much stuff? But not the right stuff. Like, I just want... I want too much, guys. That's the problem. I want too much. It always comes when you least expect it. Nice, that human torch. There we go. Light it up, my guy. Light it up. So this is the last thing we're going to do. And then after that, we're going to pop open that mythic box so you guys can see what's inside. So you can just skip to the end if you're watching this. You can just skip to the end to see what's inside. Another Doom bot would be nice though. I can't believe you actually need to find those things five times. Like for real. Now Marvel, y'all be trolling real hard, man. Jeez. I was banking on only having to find it once and then just being super amped when I have that set done. Because the other things are pretty easy to find. Nothing. Jeez. All right. So let's actually go pop open. Yeah, nothing else here is really going to be affected besides just the special missions. I'll do that on my own time. I don't want to keep you guys too long. So let's actually go ahead and pop this thing open, guys. The special mythic box. Starting off, you know what? You know what? Those are really good for that's what I'm talking about. That's a milli. I'm milli rock on any block. <laughs> oh, really? That sucks. Black antimatter is nice. Oh, that is beautiful. Two characters I don't care about, but that is beautiful. 600 plus biometrics. That is awesome. That is awesome. Over 600 biometrics, a million gold, and almost 100 black antimatter. That's awesome. Would be cool if this was a six star ISO. Be cool if that wasn't gear up kid, if that was CCF, but it's okay, it's okay, it's actually a really, really, really good thing, anyways, boys. We're gonna wrap it up right here, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. These are my tips on how to spend your boost points. This is how I spend my boost points every day. No word of a lie. If I have extra boost points after I finish doing my special missions on the off chance, if that happens, then I'll go into Dimension Rift and I'll spend them there. But Everything else that I said in the video, that's exactly how I go about it every single day. But if you have any additional tips, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm out, man. Peace.